It's pretty cool. It's like you're standing inside your head. Flying through your own brain in virtual reality may sound like science fiction, but it's really happening at Stanford Children's Health thanks to a new technology called surgical theater. Neurosurgeons use it to practice before major operations and patients to better understand their treatments. I have a question. Yeah? What's this? Oh, that's a little plate we put in to uh, keep your bone in place so that way you can ride your bicycle again. This is layers from all the pictures that you have ever taken. Yeah. So it's, that's uh, merge it's not just pre-op, it's actually in yesterday's was, MRI is included. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Wow. So about 18 months ago, Alex started developing seizures out of nowhere, and we came for treatment to LPCH. He was operated on by Dr. Grant and has now doing very well, we're happy to report. Dr. Grant and colleagues use surgical theater to train before major surgeries and also during operations. We're gonna fly through here in a moment to take a good look around. It really took something like surgical theater to take the patient scans and integrated in three dimensions and to look around it and fly through it. A surgical theater technician works on site at Stanford to transform various medical scans into a VR experience. So I can manually go in um, to their scans and actually color in these lesions. Um, so it makes it a lot clearer when you see it colored in. It helped us uh, visualize much more clearly what was going on, where it actually the electrodes were placed and how, how, the, how the brain really looked and how the, the skull and everything looks now. It's incredible. Virtual reality, making real life surgeries better for kids, parents, and doctors. Dina Mitchell for VOA News, Palo Alto, California.